on guys chris economist here at eco caffeineo i want to give you guys a look at my tower garden that i have growing here in the basement um, it's an aeroponic system that i use mainly to grow greens here it is i have some uh mustards growing right here i always have a couple of dino kale plants growing trying that new perennial kale down here celery is a really nice one to have growing on here you can see how much leaf matter grows on your celery stalks in the tower garden, but you do still have a pretty nice girth on the actual uh, celery stalk. Got some little jade down there. Oh, this is interesting. This is a tomato plant called Micro Tom. It's a really small stature tomato plant, so it doesn't grow very big at all. Maybe 12 inches, 10 to 12 inches big. But it produces all of these really small, beautiful tomatoes. I will say, I think I might have picked the first few a little soon, but they did not taste very good for some reason. They're really starchy. I'll try a few more of these, see how they are. I'll let you guys know. Been eating a lot of the lettuce. All of our lettuce is harvested right now. Siberian kale, another standby. Bok choy grows really well on this thing. That's a really young bok choy. I'll come back and show you guys what that thing looks like once it's at full mature, maturity. Got a little parsley doing, doing okay there. Tat soy is another one of my favorites to keep growing all the time. Another Siberian kale there that's mostly harvested. Another tat soy down there. Tower Garden's a really good way um, to get into growing stuff. It's super easy. Um, it is a kind of high startup cost i'm not gonna lie with the grow lights and everything the whole system is probably gonna run you about 700 bucks um but in my opinion it's worth it just to have that food security of knowing that you're gonna at least have fresh greens um you know you might not have access to produce sometimes you're gonna at least have something to keep you healthy um and you're always gonna be able to grow stuff out of your garden i mean so it's just another way to get you towards, you know, growing as much as your own food as possible, which is super important in times like right now. Um, I will say I'm not affiliated with Tower Garden. Most people that are talking about Tower Gardens are affiliated with them. I'll tell you the cons about Tower Gardens. They're not good for growing bigger plants like full-scale tomatoes, cucumbers. A lot of people will rave about growing these things outside I do not recommend doing that, especially if you're trying to achieve the goals that I'm trying to achieve, having clean greens that you know you can eat raw and not worry about any contamination. Um, you're going to have the same pest issues outside. The birds are going to be all over them. Uh, you're going to have the same uh, caterpillar issues on my brassica because of my kale. You know, I have a lot of cabbage worm issues around here, and they get to that here too. It's, it's nice just having something easy you don't have to worry about. Um, so for just that peace of mind... I think it's worth it. One-time investment, you know. Hydroponic chemicals are going to cost you about $40 a year, maybe, if you stretch them right. Um, yeah, I like this thing. Uh, there's a lot of ways you can grow hydroponic in your basement. Um, you can do it with just a, a basic tote system. Um, but this is easy. I like this smaller system at a garage sale for two dollars and it grows three plants i'm just going to try it out right now i might do another video on that but i'll show you that real quick here it is it just grows three plants at a time i'm gonna do some lettuce on there just to start out and it's cool man it's it's really small and i got that thing for two bucks at a garage sale it's brand new i just put some rock wool in there instead of the sponge that came with it it came with this kind of strange sponge material almost like a couch cushion foam, um, but I just put rock wool in there, I think it fits, I know it could do well in there, see the really nice LEDs on the tower garden, you can see that there is some algae growth, if you look closely, that will occur just because of the length of light and the moisture there, but otherwise the, the system stays super clean, and you'll have fresh produce. 24 7. All right, guys, I tried those micro toms again. They're still nasty. I don't know what's going on with them. Uh, anybody else tried this variety, micro tom? It's a Baker Creek variety. It's supposed to only grow about 10 inches. It looks really cool. It has a lot of tomatoes on it, but 
for some reason they came out really horrible and i'm not picky they're not, but they're not sweet they're grainy they're dry they're about everything that you don't want a tomato to be um i don't know try it out man or don't try it out because he's a horrible <laughs> friend <laughs>